guys welcome to today's um talk show on Igbo culture and traditions good to have you guys back today and um i hope we all are doing good yeah <laughs> so today guys uh we'll proceed we'll move right on Igbo culture and traditions so today guys i bring you a very important aspect of Igbo culture it's very very important like the Igbos are basically you cannot talk about the Igbos without mentioning this all right so you have to you have to as far as or so long as the Igbo people are concerned all right so today i'll be bringing to you what we the Igbos called Oji. Hmm. Yes, Oji. All right. Oji means cola nut. Yes, cola nut. All right. So, as can be seen on the screen, okay, for those of us that don't know this particular seed, right, that is called Oji. It can be planted anywhere. All right. Both um, inside the bush or within the compound. All right can be planted even a seed can drop without or somebody can easily just throw a seed away and then it grows you know it germinates from there all right so today i'll be talking about oji hmm. and you will see that as an acronym for ominana jikotara ibu the O stands for Ominana, <coughs> excuse me. Then the J stands for Jikotara or Jikotara, right? And why the I stands for Igbo, all right? So now, talking about Ominana, Jikotara, Igbo, what that simply means is a tradition that binds the Igbos together. Called a tradition that binds the Igbos together. That is the, the simple meaning of Omenana Jikotara Igbo. Yes. And growing up, there is a popular saying in Igbo that Oyu Weteroji Weterindu. Okay, that literally means he who brings cola brings life, or he who offers cola offers life. Yes. That's to show you that cola nuts called Oji in Igbo is, is very, 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 very important in the lives of the Igbos. They are very, very important. All right, guys. So, and aside the nutritional values of this um, Oji, there are other cultural and traditional values and functions of this cola nuts, which is what will be basically talk on on today's show all right so guys like i said today <clears throat> it's 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 gonna be super super interesting all right so sit back don't go nowhere i'll be right back <music> right, so welcome back guys so like i said earlier Oji is a sacred tree in Igbo land. A very, very sacred, both the tree, both the seed. They are very, everything about the Oji is very, very sacred. You know, in, in the traditional Igbo land, it's, it's a seed that is being revered, is highly respected, and almost adored in Igbo land. Yes, and hence, women are not allowed to climb, so even lay ownership over a, a kula nut tree. Women are not allowed to pluck or harvest kula nuts in Igbo land. They are not equally allowed to break kula nuts, like the seed, breaking it into pieces. Women are not allowed to do that in any traditional social function, all right, because it's so sacred. You know, in the traditional Igbo land, kola nuts is seen as, as a male figure. 
Likewise, other trees like the palm trees, you know, yeah, the palm trees, just like the, the, the kola nut tree is seen as male figure. So women that menstruate are not allowed to, 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 to touch or to break or to climb or to plant or do anything. All right? Because it's a very, very secret seed and plant or tree rather so long as the evil race is concerned all right and this is not like a seed that is seen in some part of evil land and not seen in other parts it's seen in virtually all parts of evil land that's why it's called omena na jikotara ibono yes it's very very important and very very sacred as well so guys because of its sacredness women are not allowed break it to to climb it to plant it all right because it's seen as a serious taboo in Igbo land a woman that any woman that does that it's she, she can she can be penalized highly for it all right and likewise in the traditional Igbo land nobody is permitted to steal you must not be caught stealing kola nuts from the tree all right you must not be caught anybody caught be it a man or a, or a woman anybody caught in the traditional evil land stealing kola nuts is is ostracized or banished from the community alongside his family all right and his house or hut can equally be set ablaze in order to end his or her generation all right so it's as serious as that. It's a very serious taboo in Igbo land for anybody, irrespective of the gender, to steal cola nuts in Igbo land. All right? So guys, today, before we move to the importance, let's see some um, cultural respect that are being accorded to this cola nuts, especially in terms of um, breaking it. In social functions social gatherings all right it can be marriage gathering it can be meeting public meeting you can be um in, you can be um during when you have visitors in your house or when you visit somebody or during barrier all right or other festivals like uh, the new year festival the each other the Ibuichi and the rest of them, so many cultural practices, okay? It's actually the first, the first thing to be served in any social gathering in order to kickstart or open that event, all right? In any gathering, in any social gathering in Ibu that Kulanot is, does not, Kulanot is not presented first, that gathering is, is not seen as, as an important gathering. Yes, it's not. So, in any social gathering, or let's start with visitation. When somebody visits your house, in order to show your, that, that, that you welcome that person, or that, that that person is welcomed to your home, the first thing you do is offer him or her cola, basically him. All right, you offer him a cola. And there are there are there are there are rankings that are considered, especially in breaking of this um color nuts. Like let's say I'm a man and someone, a fellow man visited me or visits me and then I offers him uh, a color nut. Of course, using what we call the aqua algae, like a, a plate used to serve color nuts in Ibo land apology that's what it's called so and i offers this my guest or visitor the um apology which has cola nuts inside by right traditionally by rights it is my duty to break that cola nut not the duty of that young man all right what the other or my guests as a man can do is if he happens to be an elderly one 
like someone who's senior as me, all right? He can do the praying, the praying over Kola, which is called Igoji in Igbo language. Yes, it's very, very important as well because when any place whatsoever that Kola is being offered, the first thing you do on that Kola traditionally is to pray on that Kola knot, which is Igoji. You pray to the gods, you thank the gods, make your wishes, pray to them, ask them what you want, you know, you basically pray or is expected of any evil person to pray on Kola knot before it's been broken. That's the first. Please, let's not forget that. It's very, very important. All right. So when I offer that my guest, this Kola knot, if he is an elderly person, it is his duty to pray over that kola knot, all right? After which he is expected to pass it back to me, being that um, he came to my house. Like, it's, it's the traditional Igbo right of any man to break kola in his own house, all right? And also, in the traditional Igbo land, there are some observations, right? Like in, in social gathering, it is expected that the eldest, the eldest man in that social gathering be the one to pray over that kola. All right? After which, he can pick a seed of the kola nuts, then pass or passes the, 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 the remaining to the junior one, the most junior among them in that social gathering they know themselves <laughs> yes all right so he used to pass it to that person and that junior one in turn will break the cola knot into the, the the different number of lobs yes of course we're going to talk about that because each number of lobs <coughs> or pieces that is contained or that is seed of Kola not have it has rather okay of course we'll probably talk about that that there are different significance of different number of Kola not lobs contained in one seed of Kola nuts that's to say that a seed of Kola nuts can have different numbers of lobs all right which is a kind of joint with, um, what do I call it, cotyledon. Yes, you know, looking at it, you see the demarcation that, okay, this one has about three lobes or four lobes or five or six or seven. The highest of it is seven. The highest lobes a, a cola nut can have is seven lobes. All right. So now, the after seeing the prayer, that's it, God, she passes it to the most junior among them amongst them and that one is to break this cola this bitter um cola nut into the different lobs into lobs and then serve it to other men in the gathering all right based on seniority starting from the eldest that way down to the youngest amongst them in that social gathering all right and until Every male child or male figure in that social gathering takes his own share of that cola nut. A woman is not allowed to pick out of that okoji or that cola nut plate. All right. Every male figure in that social gathering is expected to have picked before any woman in that social irrespective of your age if you like be the 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 most or the eldest woman in that community you have to wait for every male figure in that social gathering to pick before you as a woman can okay in some cultures or traditions of um some parts of Igbo land a woman is not even allowed to deep hand into that awkward that plate used to serve the cola 
to pick kula nuts. Instead, a man can pick and give to her. Yes, in some part of Igbo land, a woman, in fact, it's even a taboo for a woman to pick kola from that kola nut plate. Whereas in some, <coughs> they, can, they can be allowed to do that, to pick, but on the condition that every male figure in that gathering must have picked theirs before a woman can do that. All right, it's it's is 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 one of the respects, right? Or the or okay, yeah, yeah, this social observation given to um, this kola knot called oji in Igbo. So after that, when they have picked, then the other um, other aspect of the ceremony can now follow. So this is invariably saying that. Kola not precedes every other um, social aspect in any gathering. It takes precedence. It's it's a kind the of opening of that event. You know, it kickstarts the event. So in every social gathering, we we'll have presentation of kola first. All right. So have a note that. I think we should take the different lobs or the, 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 the different numbers of lobs a, a seed of kola nut contains, like what it signifies in the traditional Igbo land. Right? They have various various um, symbolizations, what they symbolize right in the traditional setting. <laughs> Welcome back. So, like I said, all important in the lives of the evil, right? In the lives of the evil, right? Because it symbolizes so many things. Kulano symbolizes peace, symbolizes um, unity, oneness. It symbolizes um, welcomeness, all right? It symbolizes friendship, all right? It equally symbolizes fruitfulness, productivity in the lives of the Igbos. Now, before we go to the different numbers of lobs a seed of kola nut contains, let's first look at the, um, the different types of kola nuts in Igbo land. All right? And the first one is um, called the Ojibu. Yes. Which literally means native kola nut. And uh, it's based. This the, the, their classification is based on, on on where it's being cultivated, right? Like those called the um, the Ojibwe, they are the ones being cultivated within Igbo land, all right? And of course, we have the one we call um, Ojawosa, or some people call it Ojigoro. Yes, I don't know. You must have heard about it. So this one, according to where it's being cultivated, is those. Um, type of cola that is being cultivated in the northern part of Nigeria. All right, that's called Oji Aousa, like Aousa Kola Nut. That's what it literally means. Aousa Kola Nut signify that it's being cultivated in the northern part of Nigeria. All right, so now talking about the Ojibo, Ojibo has different. Um, um, Different things with which is being identified. Let me put it as a simple term. All right, different things with which is being identified. Now, first, Ojibwe is usually a kind of red or what I would call brown. Some some are brown actually. Yes, some are red. Why some are brown? All right, and then. Occasionally, among these red seeds, there might be a white one among them. Occasionally, all right. And these white ones, which occasionally comes with the red or the brown ones, it's called ojugo. Hmm. Yes, ojugo. Do you know why it's called ojugo? It's called ojugo, which literally means 
the eagles cola nut. Yeah, eagles cola nut. That's what it literally means. But it's given that ojugo because just like the eagles, it's really, it's hardly seen. All right, it's, it's not like it doesn't come regularly like the red or the brown ones. That's why it's called the eagles cola nut because eagles, trust me, you don't see it on a regular basis. All right, that's why it's called ojugo. That is the, the white ones that occasionally comes with this red or brown seeds. All right, and then another thing. Um, the, the, the Ojibo is known with is, is the fact that when it comes to lobs, the Ojibo usually have more than two lobs. More than two, which invariably means that it can be two, it can be three, four, five, six, seven lobs in one seed. But the Ojibo, unlike the Ojaosa, cannot be just one like without lobs just one seed without lobs all right that lobs makes it easier for for any man in Iboland to use his finger to you know easily break so oji usually comes in lobs all right it has lobs that make of um, color not now in the traditional Iboland, when uh a color not don't or doesn't have it has this uh, no lobs that is just come as one it has one lobe right or it has two lobes a a a a, a cola nut that has two lobes is usually seen as one that has one lobe and they are considered or it signifies bad omen and such um cola nuts are not meant to be eaten so long as is so long as it's it's an is an is a native cola nut oju ojibo. But when it is the ojaosa or the one called boro, boro can come as one lobe. Yes, then you can eat it because it's ojaosa. And this ojaosa now it's usually white, sometimes greeny white. It can be white or greeny white, you know. It's not usually pure white. It can be greeny white, all right? And this one, because it's not native um, cola nuts, can come just in one lobe, like just one without lobes. Then that's how it usually comes. It usually have one or just two lobes, all right? And because it's not a native cola nut, you can eat it. That one is edible. But so long as it's a native cola nut, you cannot eat it once you discover that it has one lobe or two lobes because it signifies in the traditional Imbo land bad omen. And such um, cola are not meant to be eaten. You simply throw them away once you discover it's like that. You throw them away, not just throwing them away, you pray over it that God should avert that bad omen. Yes. All right, so having talked about the two different types of cola nuts that can be seen in the Igbo land, which is one. <music> functions, yeah, the functions or importance of cola nuts in Igbo. I think it's best we we'll talk about the, um, the significance of the different number of lobes contained in one um, cola nut in Igbo land. Okay, I've earlier uh, mentioned that a cola nut that has one lobe or two, all right, is it's, it signifies bad omen. Hence, such cola nuts are not meant to be eaten, but rather thrown away, all right? So the second one we'll look at now is when a cola nut have about three lobes of um, cola nuts, right? When you have three lobes, it signifies long life. It also signifies um, fruitfulness. It equally signifies wealth. 
Yes. And in Igbo land, it's usually called Oji Ikenga. Hmm. Yeah. Oji Ikenga. Remember, that's what they call it. Any kula node that has about three lobes is called Oji Ikenga. And a person that is being offered this this cola nut, let's say you come to my house as a man and I offer you cola nut, and it happens that while breaking this cola nut, we found out that it actually has three lobes, all right? You, being my guest in the traditional Igbo land, then is, is expected to like give me some money, all right? Because it signifies wealth, it signifies long life and um, fruitfulness, all right? In order for you, and equally signifies that you, be my guest, as a man, is meant to be a great man. So in the traditional Igbo land, for that man to claim that, um, that um, significance or that importance, to make it, like, in order to make it to be effective in his life, he's supposed to, to like, give his host... Let's say you are my guest and I'm your host, right? And then you come to my house, I present a cola nut to you, and it happens to have three lobes. You, as, as my guest, is supposed to, like, in that awkward, you're supposed to, like, place, even if it's no matter the amount, it can be 200, it can be 100 naira, it can be 500, it can be 1,000 naira. You're supposed to place it into that um, awkward that I used to serve you, that cola nut, right? That's, that's simply you claiming claiming that uh, prospect of that color note which that color note signifies all right because it simply signifies that you are a great man or you will be a great man in the future so you simply you using that money to claim that uh, blessing do you get just like it's similar to what we have in the some churches today like where you go and then when a prophet or the man of God is giving some prophetic declarations, all right, in order to claim it, you can go to the altar, drop a seed, which can be money, or which is usually money. You drop a seed at the altar for you in order to claim that um, that prophetic declaration. That is simply what it's it's like when you offer a man such kind of color that has three lobes, which signifies Oji Kinga. All right. And which signifies the fact that that, that guest is, he is a great man or will be a great man. So if he is not yet a great man, he's supposed to traditionally use a seed which can be 100, 2, 300, 400, 500, 1000 error, irrespective of the amount, to claim that blessing that comes with that color. All right? Yes. So then we'll move on to the. Um, the the next one which is a cola nut that has four lobes all right on market days in Igbo land yes which is or which are a k ori afo and unquo you know just like the english um this english um calendar will have monday tuesday sorry sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday seven markets or seven days in a week we the Igbos count it as market days and in 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 one week we we'll have about four market days. That's to say that four market days makes up one week. In in the Igbo calendar. All right. So any color that has about four lobes signifies that four market days, which is aka ori afandunko. All right. And that signifies. Um, completeness, wholesomeness. That's to say that the person or the guest or the person offering the cola, which is the host, they are complete. It simply signifies completeness because anything that has or that involves the four market days in Igbo land is said to be complete. It's said to be wholesome. All right? Yes. So, and then we'll move on to the next one, which is a cola nut that has about five, five lobes. And what that signifies is, uh, yes, especially to that person that broke the cola nuts, that's what it signifies, benefits. 
that that person is at benefit, that person, it signifies abundance to that person that broke the cola nuts. Equally signifies productivity, productivity, abundance. And sometimes some people have it that it equally signifies wealth, productivity, abundance. It's of benefit to that person, me as a host, that broke the um that broke the color knots or in the social gathering the junior one among them that broke that color knot it signifies of benefit to him being that it signifies abundance to him or productivity or wealth as well to him all right and then the next one is the um the with a cola, I mean the cola nut that has about six to seven. Seven is usually very, very rare to see. Yes, a, a, a cola nut that has about seven lobes is usually very, very difficult. Kind of is rare to see a cola nut that has seven lobes in the in the in the, in the traditional Igbo land. Okay, and when that happens, it simply signifies uh, good fortune. All right, fruitfulness, something good that is what it signifies. Good fortune, basically, that's what the colonel that has about seven lobes represents, or what it signifies. All right, guys, so haven't note about this. Another important note that will go into the importance of colonel in the Igbo land. Ibo, uh, the the, the cola nut is used for different functions in Igbo land, which is what we'll be considering. And now the first one we'll look at is that <clears throat> cola nut is used in traditional Igbo land to usher in a, a new day. You know, when a man wakes up, he's supposed to, you know, first thing he's supposed to do is to pray, bring out a cola nut, pray to, 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 to the God, also the gods of the land and then break that cola nut, wash his face and eat the cola nut. Of course, growing up, I remember uh, the times um, early in the morning, whenever we wake up or whenever this my uncle's, yeah, my dad's son, yeah, my uncle, he kind of, anytime he wakes up in the morning, he wants to he will ask us to bring the, the awkward, that is the cola nut plate, and then he will pick a seed of um, cola nuts and he makes some prayers, incantation, and all of that <laughs> to the gods. He simply prays to the gods, seeking for protection, for prosperity, for guidance, for direction. All right, all right, that should have even been the first importance of cola nut in the book because. The first important of cola nuts in the Igbo is that it's used to pray to the gods. Cola nuts are basically used to offer prayers to the gods. So the Igbos use cola nuts to pray to the gods. All right? To God and to the gods of the land. <laughs> All right? So, I want to know that. So, the, 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 you normally use that cola. This is my uncle. He will use that cola. Pray. You pray for virtually everybody in the house, in the family. You will call your name, you, you go, you're, you're going out and you're coming in, shall be safe and you shall be prosperous. And the gods of our land will, will guide you. You know, he makes so many wonderful prayers with it. After which is to break it, then throw out some pieces of it and eat the rest. All right. Of course, you equally call on any other person that wants to eat and give to them. But... Basically, what I want to say is that cola nuts in the traditional Igbo settings is used to usher in a new day. All right. Have a note that it's equally used to to welcome guests into your home. You know, it said then that in the traditional Igbo land, when you pay a visit to a fellow man's house and then he refused to offer you cola nuts. That simply signifies that you're not welcome. Your visit is not wanted. You're not welcomed. That's what it means. All right. So, cola nuts, when you go to a man's house and he offers you cola nuts, it simply means 
you're welcome. Okay? It's, it signifies welcomingness. All right? It signifies friendship. And it, it equally signifies hospitality in that aspect. You're welcome. So when a man or when you pay a visit to a man's house, and then he offers you cola. All right, it's you, you're supposed to be at. You're supposed to have peace of mind. Immediately he offers you that cola, and I forgot to mention that while serving this cola, there are other things. Yes, that comes with cola, be it in one's house or in social gatherings, or like things like nzu, is a dry um, whitish. Calabash. Abi, what's it called? Nzu, yeah. It's dry and molded, dried, molded, whitish calabar. Alright? So, when you come to a man's house and he offers you cola, he's equally supposed to offer you that nzu alongside, which you use to paint your, 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 your thumb and then they will draw it on the ground and it just have its cultural significance but everything boils down to signifying welcomingness or hospitality love friendship you're welcome so immediately a man offers you that it shows that it should be at peace all right if let's say when you enter that household be maybe a stranger comes into I, as a stranger, walk into a man's house. I don't know this man. I don't know how he acts or how he behaves. I don't even know his character. All right? But that moment, I walk in there and he offers me cola nuts. Those fear is supposed to wipe away. It's supposed to go away. It's supposed to vanish. Because that cola nuts he offered me is sim simply a, a symbol of peace. All right, that's what. And me accepting it and eating out of it sim simply means that I, I come in peace. That's what it means. All right. So sometimes when, when you go to somebody's house and that person offers you, a visitor goes to somebody's house and that's the owner of the house offers him or her cola nuts and then him or her rejects it. That means that person must have come for war or for a fight. That's why or that's what it simply that's what it simply signifies him or her rejecting your cola shows that he came for a fight and then in the traditional evil land when a man offers his guest cola not and he refuses it that man is supposed to like you know prepare himself get a cutlass or anything and be prepared in order not to be caught on our way all right <laughs> because that's what it simply means you come to my house, I offer you cola nuts, and you refuse it, you rejected it. That means you came for something problem, uh, problematic. All right? Either you came for fights or war or what have you. All right? So now, I want to note that that cola nuts serves as, 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 as a seed of friendship, care, love hospitality all right that's why it's actually the first thing any man presents to you as a guest as a visitor in his home the first thing that's to show welcomingness hospitality care love peace all right and another one is we look at is that color not in the traditional Igbo land is used for divination you know sometimes people in the cultural uh, cultural Igbo land might want to like know what their, their their future look like or let's say the issue of reincarnation yes and then you're suspecting that uh -uh, that this child you give birth to a child and then it's acting strange and all of that you might want to go for divination for the 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 chief priest to tell you what's actually wrong with that child if there is if, if it's a case of reincarnation maybe the person that reincarnated him or her is demanding for something and that's why that child is behaving strangely all right you can equally go to like a man that things are not moving very well for can go for divination to know what's actually the problem if the gods are not happy with him or if you have this um uh, this thing called agu 
we will come to that of course we will discuss details about that later on all right you just divination is simply you going to find out what the future holds for you or get a solution to the problems or getting answers to the problems you have at hand all right or getting answers to strange things happening around you that's divination for you so bitter cola i mean sorry the cola nuts is usually used this is the first or one of the things the chief priest uses to, you know, make the incarnation and all of that and do the divination, what have you. All right, so it's important in that aspect. Colonel is equally important when making sacrifices in the traditional Igbo land. Yes, when you're making sacrifice, colonel is, is the first thing you use to, you know, say prayers to the gods, do this one and... and perform other rituals but sacrifice in terms of sacrifice cola nuts is very much needed only used in marriage ceremonies yes in marriage ceremonies it simply binds the marriage or the marital um, celebration because in the sense that the people coming to marry comes with their own cola then the people they are going to their house, that is their in-laws to be, equally has their own cola. So once they come, the virtue of the, 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 the in-laws to be offering them cola nuts and they are accepting it and in turn presenting their own cola nuts. That's the number one binding in marital, um, marital rituals. Yes, that is the first binding in marital ritual rights because you come to my house i presented to you cola which means hospitality care and love you accepted and in turn you presented yours to me to make your intention known so that exchange of cola notes kind of spiritually has some spiritual significance right and that's According to the Igbo, is the first ritual binding of such marriage. All right, and I don't know if I forgot if I mentioned earlier that when a man visits his in-law after marrying a wife from a particular home or family, and then later on you visited, if you're offered, if your in-law offers you cola nuts, you cannot, under any circumstance or situation, break cola nuts in your in-law's house that's simply saying that a man does not break cola notes in his in-law's house okay are they awarding oh lord all right okay i have a note that so uh like i mentioned earlier um cola notes is very very vital it's very very important when it comes to marital um celebration in Igbo land and of course, it's used to open or kickstart any event, any social gathering, any public event. Cola notes is usually the first to be presented. So it's one of the importance of um, cola notes in the sense that it's used, it's used uh, to, to, to kickstart that event, to open that event. All right. That's another importance of um, cola notes in the traditional evil land. Note here is that cola nuts in the traditional Igbo land is used used for oath taking. Yes, or well, let's say a man is being accused of a crime. All right, cola nuts, according to the traditional then um, Igbo society, cola nuts would be would be a kind of pieces and thrown on the ground and this man that is being accused of of a crime or a plight to a fellow kinsman or townsman is supposed to pick use his mouth or hand to pick that cola nut all right and it's a um it's it's been said that if that man is actually guilty of that crime he's been accused of that moment he bends down to pick that cola nut either with his hand or mouth that the gods are meant to strike him dead 
that's kind of showing or signifying that that man is actually guilty of the crime he's accused of. But in a situation he is not guilty, he freely picks it up and nothing will happen to him. So all these things have spiritual links. Yes. Kola not like we were told then growing up, is not an ordinary thing a child should play with because it has a link, a spiritual link with the gods. All right. So having said all of this, of course, there are so many other um, importance of Kola not in the Igbo land. All right. <music>
ma from my maternal side whenever he comes to our side and and my brother offers him um cola nuts being an being the elder, uh, elderly one he used to pray over the cola after praying over it i remember he usually takes most times he usually takes one seed of that cola nuts and then he will pocket it <laughs> with the saying that you know, as a child, like, why is this man always stealing our cola nuts? <laughs> and then one day, I asked my mother, that I have noticed that any time this uncle comes to our house, after praying over the cola nuts, he will, he will pick one and put it in his pocket, saying, Is he not actually stealing that cola nut? Like, why does he always do that all the time? And then my mother burst into a so, Anjiru Lo Okawa Ibosi is, is an Igbo proverb, alright? It simply means, uh, how do I put this now? When a cola gets home, it kind of tells more or it helps to tell where it's coming from. <laughs> okay. Let's say I come as a visitor and give me cola down my uncle and then I took one, pocketed it, and when when I and then when I get home to my own people and then I bring it out and somebody might want to ask, ah ah, where do you get cola not from? That we kind of help to tell where I'm coming from. Oh, and I will not be like, oh, I visited my people or I visited the, my friend or I visited this person or that person, you know. That simply means that by the virtue that color is being able to like say where it came from by the virtue of it following that man to his house. That's to say, Ojirolo or Kowebosi. That when a color gets home, it kind of explains further where it came from. All right. <laughs> Hope I'm able to do justice to that. I think another interesting topic we we'll have to talk on. As time goes, yes, there's another aspect of Igbo culture. In fact, we must look at it. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Trust me, guys. <laughs> so, guys, I hope I'm able to, like, make you understand what OG stands for in Igbo land, the significance, the importance, all right, of OG in the cultural and traditional Igbo land. All right, guys. Till I come your way next time, Please feel free to tell your friends, families, all right, about my channel, Igbo Culture and Traditions, all right. Equally feel free to drop your comments, all right. Tell me what you want me to add or the topics you want us to talk about, all right. So, till I come your way next time, please do remain safe, all right. See you some other time, guys.